like and getting from one fight to another. It's not just about punches, it's try about try to, trying to build some narrative into it and to try to think of it as a scene that has a beginning, a middle, and an end, and has an obstacle, and has someone has an action, and you know, and someone has a, some defined characteristic to who they are or how they fight. And the best stunt coordinators, and there are great ones, and there are those who are not, uh, will go there with you. And then they'll rough something out. They'll work with their stunt team. They'll have guys, women and men, who will They'll tape something, or they'll say, well, I'm going to show you just the first half of it, or a beat here. And then you'll look at it, and you'll say, well, yeah, yeah, but that feels too easy, or couldn't we make that more messy, or couldn't we make that scarier, or that looks too staged, or any of your comments. But they'll physically manifest it. They'll put it on its feet for you, and then you then you know work in your actors into it. They'll then train the individual actors to take the parts of the people who have been, you know, doing it for them. There's men are here to kill you. That's Kobe and Tom in all that stuff. There's no stunt people doing their jobs there because I really believe that you, if you train somebody properly and the training of someone like Tom who's 53 years old and does it all himself still, which is insane, but he does and it's amazing, or Kobe who wasn't doing that but spent three months really tuning yourself up to be able to do it. That's how you do it with a fight.